Hi doctors, this video is the continuation of toxicology. So this is part 2 toxicology. In part 1 our discussion was about uh, classification of poisons and some of the laws which are related to toxicology. And here we are going to discuss about some of the poisons. First uh, let's start with an MCQ. Question is most painful stimulus which is considered as most painful stimulus and the options are blow over eyeball, pinching on abdomen, scrapping over the shin bone and rubbing over sternum and the answer is rubbing over sternum. So uh, probably rubbing one's knuckles over the patient's sternum is considered as most painful stimulus and uh, this hurts more than pressing the eyeball and is potentially less dangerous. Next, parasuicide. Parasuicide is also known as attempted suicide or pseudocide. What is that? That is nothing but cautious of an impulsive act just to uh, get rid of an intolerable situation. For example, drug ingestion is the commonest form. Most persons are uh, psychologically disturbed. So, this is nothing but just an attempt. They won't die. Now, Therapeutic index and lethal dose. What is therapeutic index? Therapeutic index are the ratio of the toxic to the effects of a drug. Indicates relative toxicity of drugs. And uh, this toxicity of the chemicals have been devised depending on the amounts which produce harm. Next comes lethal dose. This is the dose that kills. Our minimum lethal dose is the smallest dose that has been uh, recorded as fatal to a healthy person. And uh, uh, next, next on MCQ, you can get an MCQ like this. Uh, the dose of a drug for child is obtained by which rule? Options can be Young's rule, Nistrand's rule, Robert's rule or etc. And the answer is Young's rule. So Young's rule is for obtaining the dose of a drug for a child. And they have some formula also. I think that is not needed. Next is about antidotes. Mechanical or physical antidote. Mainly they neutralize poisons by mechanical action or prevent their absorption. Activated charcoal, demulsions and bulky food they are considered as mechanical antidotes. First about activated charcoal. In many of the poisons uh, we will be using activated charcoal as an antidote. And demuls demulsions are the substances which form a protective coating of the gastric mucous membrane. And thus do not permit the poisons to cause any damage. For example milk, starch, egg white, mineral oil and milk of magnesium, aluminium hydroxide gel. They are considered as a demulsion. So you may get a question also. Which of the following is a demulcent like this. Next bulky food and this acts as a mechanical antidote to glass powder by imprisoning its particles within its meshes. And so that it can be prevented. The damage can be prevented. Next universal antidote which is known as universal antidote. The composition of activated charcoal, magnesium oxide and tannic acid. This will be considered as universal antidote. And activated charcoal will be used in many of the poisons, but they we have some exceptions also. So exceptions are always important. So please be careful. So uh, mainly it is not useful in poisons uh, like uh, corrosives, heavy metals, cyanides, hydrocarbons and alcohol. Uh, so we have a mnemonic to remember this and the clue is Cyanitas iron core is running by alcohol in air, not by charcoal. Cyanitas iron core is running by alcohol in air and not by charcoal. Here the cyanita is to mention cyanides, iron core, iron for iron, core for corrosives, running by alcohol in air, alcohol for alcohol, air for arsenicum. So, this is not by charcoal. So, please remember, Sainita's iron core is running by alcohol in air and not by charcoal. This is the clue to remember contraindication for activated charcoal. There is no option. You should remember this. Now, 
physiological antidotes or physiological or pharmacological antidotes we are not going to talk about in detail about these antidotes just remember this name only the abbreviation only bal edta dmsa and dmps anyway we are not going to remember all those abbreviation so simply you just remember bal edta dmsa and dmps they are physiological antidotes and uh, mainly they act on the tissues of the body and produce symptoms exactly opposite to those caused by poison now inorganic poisons in inorganic poisons or corrosive poisons mainly we are going to talk about sulfuric acid nitric acid and hydrochloric acid other acids also there still we are going to uh, see in detail about these poisons only first some of the general points regarding inorganic poisons inorganic poisons are mainly causes coagulation necrosis so all mineral acids causes coagulation necrosis and gastric lavage is absolutely contraindicated in corrosive poisons and the exception is carbolic acid and this gastric lavage is relatively contraindicated for kerosene poison so absolute contraindication for all poisons exception is carbolic acid and relative contraindication in kerosene poison next what is mesenteris mesenteris is also known as street of the stomach that is nothing but the pathway which the poisons follow after ingestion and after ingestion of the poisons most common damage will be seen over lesser curvature so stomach should be open through get, greater curvature so that we can prevent more damage so most common damage lesser curvature and opening should be done through greater curvature now this is an mcq which was asked in one competitive exam which mineral acid does not cause coagulation necrosis and the options are hydrofluoric acid hydrochloric acid sulfuric acid and nitric acid and here the answer is hydrofluoric acid as we have already seen all mineral acids causes coagulation necrosis but only hydrofluoric acid causes liquefactive necrosis let's talk about sulfuric acid sulfuric acid is also known as oil of vitriol oil of vitriol pure sulfuric acid is also known as oil of vitriol and this is heavy odorless colorless non fuming hygroscopic acid and it will cause black tongue and chalky white teeth you can remember like this black and white so black tongue and chalky white teeth what is vitriol age that is nothing but uh, throwing of sulfuric acid on another person and that will be considered as grievous injury and the section is ipc 320 and if the uh, throwing of sulfuric acid causes disfigurement that will be considered as that will be punishable under the section 326 ipc so just simple throwing is 320 grievous hurt if it causes disfigurement that will comes under 326 ipc so vitriol age means throwing of sulfuric acid over another person's face or any part and most common uh, presenting symptom of sulfuric acid poison is pharyngeal pain and that will cause blotting paper like stomach you can see in this image also blotting paper like stomach and mainly this will cause stomach perforation and fatal period is 12 to 24 hours and the fatal dose is 10 to 15 ml here you have to remember the fatal dose because uh, only we are going to uh, study about 3 to 4 poisons so you can remember easily fatal dose because it is frequently asking mcq so for sulfuric acid fatal dose is 10 to 15 ml so the important points to remember is oil of vitriol black tongue and chalky white teeth next blotting paper stomach and fatal dose is 10 to 15 ml next comes nitric acid which is hno3 this is also known as aquafortress or red spirit of nitre 
and uh, in concentrated form it combines with organic matter and produces an yellow discoloration of tissue uh, due to the production of picric acid that is known as xanthoproteic reaction and this is asked in many of the competitive exam this question xanthoproteic reaction is seen in which acid poison nitric acid poison and uh, similar to the sulfuric acid poison nitric acid also having the same fatal dose which is 10 to 15 ml next comes hydrochloric acid hydrochloric acid is also known as muriatic acid and uh, this is pungent and colorless fuming liquid mainly uh, mucous membrane discoloration we can see first gray then grayish white and later becomes brown or black because uh, the production of acid hematin here the fatal dose is 15 to 20 ml so for sulfuric acid and nitric acid 10 to 15 ml and for hydrochloric acid 15 to 20 ml boric acid boric acid poison in boric acid toxicity we can get erythematous desquamating skin rash and that will be looks like the boiled lobster so this is known as boiled lobster skin so you can remember like this boric acid and boiled lobster lobster b for b next uh, organic pi organic poisons which means organic acids we have uh, completed inorganic now organic poisons first oxalic acid oxalic acid is also known as acid of sugar or salt of sorrel and this is called as ink remover why in olden days it is used as bleach to remove stains or to clean brass or copper articles or leather and even it is used in calico printing and for removing writing and signatures illegally so this is considered as ink remover so this can be this is also can be asked in mcq which which acid is used as ink remover answer is oxalic acid next comes an important mcq discussion that is hypocalcemia and oxalic acid poison causes tetany so hypocalcemia and tetany can be caused by oxalic acid poison because uh, it readily combines with the calcium ion in the body tissues and causes its withdrawal from them. So death will be usually occurs within 12 hours and the fatal dose is 15 to 20 gram. Uh, in inorganic parasites they are given in ml here oxalic acid 15 to 20 gram and fatal period is 1 to 2 hours and mainly this will cause scalded appearance of mucosa of stomach and we can get coffee ground vomitus and oxaluria prolonged diarrhea will also occur next comes carbolic acid carbolic acid is also known as phenol and this is having characteristic smell of carbolic or phenolic smell and the commercial carbolic acid is dark brown liquid and chiefly uh, this can be seen in cresol and the uh, poisoning of carbolic acid is known as carbolism and the chronic poison will call as phenol marasmus because uh, the chronic poison is characterized by anorexia weight loss headache vertigo and etc so this is called as phenol marasmus and there is no vomiting because of anesthetic action on stomach and this will cause leathery stomach next comes uchronosis what is uchronosis the hydroquinone and pyro actually the phenol is converted into hydroquinone and pyrocatalol in the body before being excreted in the urine so uh, those things will be causes depigmentation sorry pigmentation over cornea and various cartilages so that is called as uchronosis and uchronosis is commonly associated with alcaptonuria so urine will be in olive green color or black color and this will cause proximal tubular necrosis and the test to find is ferric chloride test on urine now revision leathery stomach seen in carbolic acid poison scalded appearance oxalic acid poison blotting paper like stomach sulfuric acid poison so we have completed acids thank you